hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we will be discussing about the axillary lymph nodes so axillary group of lymph nodes they are divided into five groups namely anterior posterior central lateral and apical actually this was discussed in the previous video on the lymphatic drainage of the breast if needed please do check the description box for the link in this video we will be discussing about their location and the area where they are draining the lymph First, let us discuss about the anterior axillary group. This anterior axillary group, it is also called as pectoral group because it lies along the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle. So this muscle, what you are seeing here, this is the pectoralis minor muscle. Since it lies along the lower border of the pectoralis minor, it is also called as pectoral group of lymph nodes. So this is anterior. So this anterior axillary group it not only lies below the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle but also it lies along the lateral thoracic vessels. Here what you are seeing this structure this is the lateral thoracic vein draining into the axillary vein. In this picture I have shown only the vein but the truth is that this group of lymph nodes anterior axillary group of lymph nodes it lies along the lateral thoracic vessels that is along the lateral thoracic artery as well as the lateral thoracic vein this lateral thoracic artery is a branch of second part of axillary artery once again i am repeating this lateral thoracic artery it is a branch of second part of the axillary artery so this anterior group of uh, lymph nodes anterior axillary group of lymph nodes they lie along the lateral thoracic vessels and also below the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle this anterior group of axillary lymph nodes they drain the lymph from the upper half of the trunk as well as from the major portion of the breast hope you know the location of the breast that it lies above the pectoralis fascia covering the pectoralis major muscle so this anterior axillary group it drains the major part of the breast once again i am repeating so anterior axillary group it is also called as the pectoral group since it lies along the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle and the location coming to the location it is located along the lateral thoracic vessels that is along the vein and artery and the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle then it receives lymph from upper half of the anterior wall of the trunk and also from the major portion of the breast. Coming to the next group of lymph nodes that is posterior axillary group. This posterior axillary group of lymph nodes it is also called as the scapular group. This is because it is located along the subscapular vessels that is along the subscapular artery and subscapular vein. So what I have shown in this picture is the subscapular vein draining into the axillary vein. Hope you all might know that the subscapular artery is a branch, largest branch of the distal portion of the axillary artery. That is the distal part of the axillary artery. So once again I am repeating the subscapular artery is a branch from the third part of the axillary artery. That is from the distal part of the axillary artery. So this posterior axillary group it rece receives a lymph mainly from the posterior wall of the upper half of the trunk. So this anterior axillary group it receives the lymph from the uh, upper half of the anterior wall of the trunk and this posterior axillary group it receives lymph from the posterior wall of the upper half of the trunk and also from the axillary tail of spines. This is nothing but the axillary tail of spines is nothing but an extension of tissue of the breast that extends into the axilla through a defect in the pectoralis fascia called foramen of Lango. So once again I am repeating posterior axillary group it is also called as the scapular group since it is located along the subscapular vessels. So location it is along the subscapular vessels you might know the subscapular artery it is the uh, largest branch of the third part of the axillary artery that is the distal part of the axillary artery and the subscapular vein it ultimately drains into the axillary vein then it receives lymph from the posterior wall of the upper half of the trunk of the body and also from the axillary tail of spines of the breast 
This is a small portion of the breast extending into the axilla through a defect in the pectoralis fascia called foramen of Langer. Coming to the next group of lymph nodes that is lateral axillary group. So what you are seeing here, this is the lateral group of axillary lymph nodes. So they lie along the shaft of the upper part of the humerus and also they lie medial to the axillary vein. So here what you are seeing, this one is the axillary vein. So they lie medial to the axillary vein. Uh, so they just receive lymph from the whole of the upper limb. Once again I am repeating, so the location of the lateral axillary group is along the upper part of the shaft of the humerus and that too medial to the axillary vein. Then they receive limb from the upper limb. Now coming to the central axillary group. So this is the central group of lymph nodes. They are located in the fat of the upper axilla. Even if you put your fingers in your armpit, you could feel some fatty uh, substance so the central group of lymph nodes they are located in the fat of the upper axilla so this central group of axillary lymph nodes they receive lymph from anterior axillary lymph nodes posterior axillary group and also from the lateral axillary group then once they receive the lymph from all these three groups they just drain the lymph into apical group of lymph nodes apical group you can see here this is the apical group of lymph nodes so once again I am repeating, so location in the pad of fat of upper part of the axilla and the receive lymph from all three groups of lymph nodes, they are the anterior group, posterior group and lateral group and once they are drained into the central axillary group, the central axillary group of lymph nodes in turn drain the lymph into the apical group. Coming to the next group that is apical axillary group of lymph nodes. As I already mentioned what you are seeing here, this is the apical group of lymph nodes. It is also called as infraclavicular group since it is located just beneath the clavicle, deep to the clavicle. So it lies along the axillary vessels that is along the axillary vein and axillary artery and also deep to the clavipectoral fascia. Actually clavipectoral fascia was already discussed in the previous video. If you want to watch the video please to check the description box for the link. So they mainly receive lymph from the central group of lymph nodes. So apical axillary group of lymph nodes also called as infraclavicular because it is located below the clavicle. Then they lie deep to the clavipectoral fascia and also along the uh, axillary vessels and also along the axillary vessels. This group of lymph nodes they mainly receive lymph from the central group of lymph nodes and also some lymph from the upper part of the breast and also from the thumb and its web. Web in the sense the region in between the thumb and the index finger. So they receive lymph from the central group upper part of the breast and also from the thumb and its web. Web in the sense the region between the thumb and the index finger.